out of five of us, men and women, are abused before the age of 18. After the age of 15, 50% of us are abused. These are the statistics for violence, emotional, and sexual abuse, which means that half of this room has walked through abuse. The other statistic that I'd like to share with you tonight is that of those 50%, they are 75% more likely to be abused again. And why this is, is because of our own understanding and belief system. Tonight it's going to be my pleasure and hope to inspire you to help me stand up and take action against this. So I'm going to explain how we're going to do it together. And then I'm going to ask you for your support, for your giving heart, and for your generosity to help me and you help those 50%. You might say, well, why? Why would I want to? Why would I even want to listen? This is kind of a, it's a bad subject, right? Who wants to really talk and focus on abuse? Well, this is why. It's because your best friend might be part of that 50%. Your daughter, your son, you. And once they walk through it, they form a belief. They form a relationship with reality. And that's how they perceive reality. And so that perception comes back to them again and again. It might be less, it might be more, who knows. That is why after one divorce, it's more likely in that second marriage to get divorced again. That is why after a child goes through abuse, it's more likely for them to either become abused again in another abusive relationship or abuse themselves through substance. That is abuse too. Substance abuse is abuse. It's just personal. So how do we change this? This has been my quest for 20 years. How do we change this? What do we do? And yes, it is really important that if somebody is abused, they go and they seek help. So there's wonderful hotlines. I've spoke with Talk and Rain, and there's beautiful hotlines. They go to the police. That's really step one. Step two is getting it out, writing your story, and participating in group therapy or therapies. It's beautiful to get it out. But after you get it out, what do you do? You still have the belief. You still relate to life this way. In 2010, I became a best-selling author of the book, From Bondage to Happiness. It's all about this perception. I opened up your own university to team with 80 coaches plus growing every day around the world to help people step into what I call their six personal power zones. These are places where we actually have control in our lives. And when you have a positive relationship with these things in your life, whether you've been abused or not abused, you are a powerful person. You're more productive at work, you're happier at home, and you're more honest with yourself. You're less apt to do drugs or abuse others, and you're less apt to stay in abusive environments. So these zones are your physical body, taking good care of your health and well-being, two, your mental body, because how you think about yourself is very important. Three, your vibrational body, your emotional body, how you can handle your emotions. Four, your soul, your spiritual relationship with the world. Five, who you are in relationship. Not how to be the best wife, or how to be the best daughter or son or husband, but how to be the best you in each of those relationships. And five, your, or six, your purpose. Okay, what do you do? That why, right? Why are you here? Well, one thing that I absolutely love, Tony Robbins says, um, the one thing that sets apart the 1%, the most successful people, from those that are following in their, foot, in their footsteps is personal development. So personal development is key to make this happen. So we have developed personal development courses to help these individuals 
really join in and learn about their six personal power zones and create a great, great relationship with each of them. And we've also put together a program, Divinely You, my nonprofit, to raise money for scholarships. So these people who are broke and broken, because they come together, can afford the coaching and the mentorship of personal development experts that they require to change their beliefs, change their habits, and say yes to better habits in the future. One of my clients, well not one of them, but many of my clients, their biggest, biggest obstacle is not how to be sad or mad or depressed or upset. It's how to be happy and joyous and elated and excited. They need your support to learn how to be happy. And that's why I'm going to ask you to pull out your phones and go on to Amazon. We're in MTA right here. Go on to your, your little scroller and type in HTTP DivinelyUFoundation.com. DivinelyUFoundation.com. And donate $20 so we can give these scholarships and these courses to the people that require them and need them in our community right here. You can also come and join us at our next event where we're going to be talking and some of the people in this room are going to be speaking on these amazing traits of their six personal power zones. And it is Saturday, July 23rd, right here in Palmer at the Palmer Ale House. We're going to have music. We're going to celebrate all of life because we all matter. Every single one of us has that big why. And with your support, we can really help those 50% become the productive, amazing, fun people that they were literally born to be. Thank you so much for your time and your support.